Welcome to the homework for lesson 11. This is module 6 of second grade. Write your name here first, please. And construct an array with nine square tiles. So here's the, uh, here's the plan. Is we have, similar to the last homework assignment, we have some squares you can cut out from the bottom of the page with a pair of scissors. So these guys right down here, going to cut them out and use them like they're puzzle pieces and then use that what you've done with the puzzle pieces to write a repeated addition equation to match the array now with nine square tiles the only array you're going to be able to make with nine square tiles is three by three because remember, the, the arrays have to have equal rows. The number of rows doesn't have to equal the number of columns. They don't have to be squares. But that for, for 9, that's the only way you're going to get it to work out. And that's going to be, whether you're looking at rows or columns, it's going to be 3 groups of 3. And now with 10 square tiles... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, one more. There, ten. Uh, so that's one row of ten. Uh, and I could write, if I wanted to write repeated addition, I could I could call it ten columns of one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten ones equals ten. Rearrange them in a different way and write repeated addition equation to match the new array. Now it doesn't tell you you have to draw the picture, but I'm drawing it because uh, I want to show just different ways you can do it. How about two columns of five? You could do that. Let's see how many different ways you can do it. Uh, see if you can find for uh, for 10, there should be four different ways you could do it. See if you can find all four ways. And I'm going to make these twos. So two, I need five of them. Construct an array with 12 square tiles. All right, so 12 square tiles. Well, I could just do kind of what I did before. Um, but I don't want to draw one row of 12 because it's just going to be too long. So I could do... Let's see. That's a row. We have three of them. That's nine, and I need one more row to make it 12. And this could be either three fours or four threes. And now rearrange them in a different way. How about... Let's see, one, two, three, four, there's six, two sixes. Now either I could either make this six twos or two sixes. Construct two arrays with 14 square tiles. Two arrays. So do we have 14 tiles? Oh, yeah, we do. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's all of them. So two arrays. Make sure you have all 14 when you're doing this. Um, is if you drop one on the floor or something and you have an odd number of tiles, you won't be able to make any arrays. Um, well, you might. But if you have 13, you're not going to be able to make anything except a row of 13 or a column of 13. So, but we have four, with 14, make sure you have all 14. Uh, two rows of, so if you, if we can use that trick, right? That if you know there's two rows, let's draw the first two rows there. And then we'll just see how many we can have in each row. Counting by twos as we go. So that's two, four, six, eight. That's 10. And I'm going to stop at 14. 12. 14. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two rows of seven is 14. So two rows of, and it says construct two different arrays. So I could also do this, because we also need seven rows, right? So seven rows is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven rows, and I need to have, and I know I, I'm going to have two of those two columns so two rows of seven that's this one here is the same as this one here which is seven rows of two 